How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone step by step. This is a super complete video so I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone to iCloud or if you want to, to a computer, regardless if it's a Mac or a PC. So it's up to you so you can choose how you want to back up your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so starting with method number one, which is the easiest and most convenient way, which is iCloud backup because you don't need a computer, you don't need a cable, all you need is your own iPhone. It's super convenient, but of course it has some drawbacks as well, let me show you. So all you have to do is open up the settings and then you're gonna tap right here at this top banner with your name, tap on it and then let it load, then tap on iCloud and then look for iCloud backup. This interface may be a little bit different depending on the iOS version you're running, but you'll always have iCloud backup somewhere on this screen. So tap on iCloud backup and then right here you see this page, iCloud backup, and then you can easily see if you have back up this iPhone enabled or not. If you don't, just enable it as you can see right here. And then if it's your first time, you can go ahead and tap on backup now. If you already have iCloud backup already enabled on your phone, it'll be just like mine. And you'll probably see something like this, less successful backup yesterday or today or a few days ago or something like that. So then you see what was the last successful backup. Okay, so it's as easy as that. All right, so if you wanna back up now, you tap here and then it'll start backing up. Keep in mind that this may take some time depending on the amount of data you have in your Wi-Fi speed and so on. All right, now I said there are some drawbacks with an iCloud backup, right? And the biggest one has to do with storage because when you wanna back up your iPhone, what you're doing is actually creating a safe, a secure file, which is a copy of everything that's on your iPhone. And this file is naturally huge. So sometimes it's like dozens or hundreds of gigabytes. So then you need available storage to store that backup. And since we're backing up to iCloud, we need to have enough storage in our iCloud account. And the thing is, we generally need to pay for that because the free iCloud account won't handle so many gigabytes. So then that's the drawback of the iCloud backup. You need to subscribe to iCloud Plus in order to have enough storage to do this. You can check it out coming back here. As you can see, I am an iCloud Plus subscriber. As you can see, I have two terabytes on my subscription. I have a lot of data still. I have used pretty much half of my storage. So then I do have enough storage. So that's the drawback, right? So then you will need to subscribe to iCloud Plus to have the necessary storage. If you are not an iCloud Plus subscriber, uh, look where you have storage on your phone, like just like you see right here on mine, let it load, and then right here you easily see how you can actually subscribe or even change your storage plan and get more storage if you need that. It's super easy to do, but of course it costs money. So then here comes the second method, which is completely free. So if you don't wanna spend money, you just wanna back up your iPhone, save all your files and data without spending any cash, you can actually back up to a computer. Let me show you how you can do that. All right, so as you can see, I've got my computer right here in front of me, and I wanna tell you right off the bat that you don't need a Mac for this. You can use any computer, a Mac or a Windows PC. The computer doesn't even have to be yours, all right? Just to be clear. So I'm gonna show you first step-by-step step on the Mac, and then I'm gonna get my PC, I have it right here, and show you the method for Windows users, all right? So as I said, this is for everyone, all right? All right, so if you have a Mac, you don't need to download absolutely anything. You already have here pre-installed everything that you need. So all you wanna do is go ahead here and grab a cable, right? Your cable that comes in the box, and then go ahead and plug it in to the computer, all right? This is USB-C to USB-C, but of course you can use compatible cables or adapters, whatever you need, all right? Then get your iPhone and then just plug it in, as you can see, just like that. 
it may ask you for authorization as you can see already allow as you can see right here you can allow it may ask for permission there we go so trust this computer so go ahead and trust as you can see right there and then it's going to ask for your passcode your iphone passcode so type it in and then we have trusted everything is ready we're good to go so you can already leave your iphone right here okay that's enough so it may ask you about software updates or something like that that's not what we want at this moment we want to talk about backup right so you can go ahead and click on not now and then all you have to do is open up finder as you can see your typical finder where you see all your files right and then under locations you already see your iphone so daniel's iphone as you can see right here then it may ask again for you to trust so you can go ahead and trust as you can see we have already like previously trusted here so we're good to go and then we're seeing our iphone right there perfect all you have to do now guys is back up now this button right here something that is pretty cool is that your computer will automatically detect if you have performed uh backups to icloud and even your last successful one but if you still want to go ahead and back up to your computer no problem at all you can go ahead and click on backup now as you can see and then it'll start backing up right uh it may ask you once again to trust computer and then passcode you can go ahead and type it in let me go ahead and do it and then have trusted and then it'll start the process right there one thing that's very important to keep in mind is again you will need to have available storage this time on the computer in order to store your backup so just like we saw in icloud you will need to have available storage this time on the computer in order to store everything that's on your iphone because that's what a backup is in the end of the day a copy of everything that's here right so then it's gonna back up it's gonna do its thing it's gonna finish and then you're good to go just make sure you have enough available storage on the computer now let's go ahead and move to pc users let's go okay so grab your pc and here we have one extra step but it's super easy as well because we're gonna need to use itunes so if you already have itunes on your pc you're also good to go but if you have never done this before you will probably need to download itunes on your pc of course it's an apple native application and completely free right so you can go ahead here and type here to search just so we can go to the microsoft store so right here microsoft store so it's much easier to get it from the store than to download it from the web right i'm very sorry about the quality of my display here it's just this pc is a little bit old as you can tell right so right here at the top we can click and then search for itunes as you can see we already have it right here itunes app so click on it let it load and then as you can see itunes apple inc so it's all official great i already have it on my pc that's why it says open on yours it'll say download or get so you can go ahead click download as i said it's completely free and then install it the typical installation process of any software on your pc that you have done multiple times right so go ahead here i'm gonna click on open since i already have it so let's go ahead and wait for it to launch and right here we have itunes and then the rest of the process is exactly the same as we saw on the mac so we're gonna need to go ahead get a cable right plug in one end to the pc get a compatible cable with compatible ports and so on and then the other end we're gonna plug into our iphone we're gonna have the same story right here so maybe it'll ask for permissions to trust and so on let's wait let's wait for it to actually ask us for anything i have previously trusted but we never know okay so we didn't ask for anything and right here we already have this icon which is the device icon as you can see we can click on it and as you can see it's gonna give us the exact same page as we saw on the mac naturally if it asks for authorization or trust or something like that you can go ahead and do that and type in your passcode and so on just like we did on the mac okay so uh, if we scroll down just a bit you will see right here same story so backups it will say that we have activated the icloud backup our last successful backup it's all the same and naturally all you have to do is backup now click here again always making sure you have enough storage on your computer to actually handle to actually receive the backup same story here you can authorize on the 
i file so trust this computer go ahead and trust and then of course after that it's already gonna start the process okay so it's backing up it's doing its thing it'll take a while on this computer as you can see we have the spinning wheel right here but then it's the exact same thing all you have to do now is wait wait and wait and then when it's finished as you can see right here backing up daniel's iphone when it's completely finished it'll tell you that it's done and then when it's done you can go ahead and remove the cables you're good to go and live your life with your backup finished so thanks a lot for watching this video that's how you back up your iphone step by step with every single method available to you free or paid with a little bit more work or super convenient it's up to you to choose now you know so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you on the next videos with you guys Bye-bye.